if air has 78% nitrogen and only 21% oxygen, why do we say that we breathe in oxygen? Well, out of all these gases, our body needs only oxygen and the rest are filtered out and exhaled. So look carefully. Here's the air that we breathe in. And this is the air that we breathe out. Hey, hold it. So that means all this air went into our lungs with every breath and we sent back most of it, retaining only a small part of the oxygen. That's a lot of work for our lungs. Stop and count your breath. One, two, three. Every single time, the lungs have to sort, filter, pump. Sort, filter, pump out. Hmm, my lungs work pretty hard. Okay, so next question. Why do we need oxygen in the first place? Why do you think that happened? Just like the candle needs oxygen to supply light energy, our body has countless reactions inside where the food we eat is broken down into energy. And for all these reactions, we need oxygen. Unfortunately, sometimes when we are unwell, our lungs are not able to do all these complicated tasks. That is where science comes to our rescue. We use a device that takes away the burden from our lungs by providing them with a stream of nearly pure oxygen. A device that provides unlimited pure oxygen? Yes, you heard me right. Unlimited oxygen? Well, say hello to oxygen concentrators. The concentrator starts by taking the air around us and filtering it to remove dust, smoke or other impurities. In a healthy body, our nose hair would normally do this job. This purified air is then compressed. The compressed air passes over a filter made of zeolite. This is a molecular sieve made of special material that is selective towards absorbing nitrogen more than it is towards oxygen. Let me explain this. So when air is at high pressure, the nitrogen molecules stick to the zeolite filter and oxygen molecules pass through. So what comes out of the tank is 90 to 95% pure oxygen, which goes straight to a mask on the patient's face. Notice there are two identical tanks with zeolite filters. Let's say that compressed air at high pressure is passing through tank number A then the nitrogen keeps getting stuck to the filter in tank A and pure oxygen comes out. Meantime, in tank B, there is no high pressure air passing through, which means that when the pressure reduces and the nitrogen molecules that were stuck to the zeolite filter now start floating around. And part of this pure oxygen from tank A passes through tank B in a reverse flow to remove all these floating nitrogen molecules. This air goes out through the exit valve. This way, while one tank is supplying pure oxygen, the second tank is getting clean. This cycle swings from tank A to tank B in a manner that, as long as the device is plugged in, there is no pause in the supply of oxygen. And hey, what's this? This is an oxygen cylinder, which is just like your water bottle that you carry to school. Your own portable cylinder of oxygen, which gets refilled, but it also gets empty. So what we saw as a process is called adsorption. And by the way, does any of you know the difference between adsorption and absorption? If you already know the answer, then leave a comment below. And if you want to know more about these processes, then head over to the Baijus app.